Hey, what's up everybody? Chris D from PC Addicts here. This one I'm going to show you a different Linux distribution called GNU Sense, which is derived from Ubuntu, but with some things removed. Now, I, I have it running here in VirtualBox, in which my VirtualBox only has one processor assigned to it and um, 512 megs of RAM. Um, and it runs fairly decent in it too. So let's go ahead and fire it up while it's firing it up. While it's firing up, I'll tell you a little bit about it. At least on their website here under features, it says GNU Sense is derived from Ubuntu and thus has must has most of the same functionality. There are a number of differences though. Non-free firmware removed from the kernel and main. Um, Non-free firmware removed from the Linux Ubuntu modules. Builder, a tool to produce a di distribution. Restricted removed, multiverse removed, Ubuntu logos replaced, universe enabled by default and uh, Emacs, BSD games, NetHack, and Build Essentials part of the dis default install. And it says basically their goal is to produce a fully free distribution um, and not have as many features as possible. Now the, the user interface, at least for the login screen here, I think the splash screen is pretty nice. The login screen, whatever. Uh, I like the cleanliness of it and it just has a really nice look to it. Let's go ahead and log in here. Let's see what we got. First thing right off the bat, you'll notice is it doesn't have um, like all the eye candy stuff with Compass Fusion running and um, all that junk. And uh, the default background or the wallpaper, I think, is pretty nice. And here you go, it's up and running. Let's check out our system monitor. You can do a, um, a top if you want. Not too shabby. Now. Um, as far as applications go, it looks, it feels just like Ubuntu. It is based off of Ubuntu, just with a lot of the non-free stuff removed and a lot of the junk removed. Um, I know this G note, and I think that's different from the uh, the other note. I forgot what the other note was called, but um, comes with GIMP. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. As far as the browser goes, Epiphany. It's not too bad. Um, I set my default home page to Google. Um, you know, it works just like any other browser. The browser is a browser, I guess, to some extent. Even though, check it out, I'm tr testing out the Internet Explorer 9. And to be honest, it's not too shabby. It actually works quite well. But that's a whole other story. We're not talking about that now. I do have a lot of software uh, waiting to be installed or a lot of updates. And um, this is pretty much a default install with the exception of I installed Flash Player because right away I wanted to test out of the box if Flash Player worked and um, it did need to plug in but the install was um, very very simple so it actually the install was just basically you know you get to a, a video and um, it says hey you need, you need to plug in install so I just clicked on it it uh, downloaded it and installed it and uh, worked. So that was pretty smooth. Um, as far as everything else goes, I mean, there's it's pretty much similar uh, than to Ubuntu. So I guess there's not really much for me to show you. I haven't used it too much yet, and I think I do want to try it out on that old laptop that's sitting next to me over there. Um, but yeah, maybe something you guys want to try out. 